Imagine a place where the sun never sets and time is not of essence. Welcome to the Timeless Society, where moments matter more than minutes and experiences transcend the ticking clock. My name is Inga and I am an international yogi and a local patriot. My name is Rowan, I am an Australian expat living in Norway. My name is Andreas. I am a previous businessman, but now I guide and teach. Together we handpicked Cassie from Wales, Luca from Italy and Ruby from London to spend a week under the midnight sun. In these stunning surroundings of Northern Norway, these brave souls are about to discover what happens when you say, who needs time? Ultimately, I don't know how 24 hours a day life would have put me as a person, um, but I do know that I've always wished for more hours in the day. Knowing that there is a place in which uh, for the entire day there is sunlight and no darkness and time is not the most important thing is a scenario that came from another planet different from planet Earth. Giving up the concept of time to hike, swim, enjoy, breathe, feel, live. Hey, Hi. hello, guys. Hello. 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 Hey, Cassie. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm Luca. Cool. So, dear participants, it's time to let go of your phones and watches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to discover how it is to live <laughs> under the land of the Midnight Sun. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, can, you can put them in oh, the chest here for safekeeping. It's a permission like, that you were going to take it from me, so I rescued you <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my bear is. Okay, well done. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah. You ready for the next step? Yeah, we'll <laughs> <Yeah>. Maybe. <laughs> Now this will be a very, very hard and real challenge because I'm that type of person that once I enter my bedroom, I lower the shutter and stay hours and hours uh, every day in total darkness. The only light is the light that came from my, my cell phone. No sun inside my room, no sun, no light. I would, I would like, I would have liked more to, to, to experience six months of darkness, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like this, <laughs> I can see anything. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, this is lovely. I was a mum very young. I was a mum by the time I, well, just after my 21st birthday, I became a mum and had the children in my 20s and 30s. I never had time. It was always one meeting, another meeting, another meeting, client, staff. And, and just the last two years, it's time for me. It's just amazing. I, and that gives me energy. So this is going to be quite challenging, isn't it? Having the sun all the time. My body's not going to know what's hit it. <laughs> it's going to be a shock. Watch your step. It's a little bit steep over here. Whenever I've seen sort of pictures of Norway, it seemed more primordial, if that makes sense. Like it, it looks to me like I imagine what Earth would have looked like when plants first started to grow. And, you know, it makes me think of something very old, you know, like the old gods are still alive, like in the mountains somewhere. <laughs> Do you think you can get sleep here with all the light? I, I don't even know if I want to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I've ever stayed anywhere quite as incredible as this. I actually think I might cry. Hey. Yeah. So I think this will fit here. <laughs> wow. That is a lot. <laughs> Have you ever tried shrimps before? Uh, not not like these, that were just like in a bowl no. in front of me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Do you know how to peel them? <laughs> and you can see the different personalities here. Here you have an organizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Here's a little bit more chaotic, <laughs> creative. I work uh, four days a week as a tattooist. Um, so most of most of my days are spent drawing. You know, I've always loved art, but um, I was not really a. Uh, I didn't really like being told what to do. <laughs> but if you could guess, what do you think the time is? 
I think if this was at home now, I reckon it would be about eight o'clock. I feel like it feels like eight o'clock. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Go on, tell us then. Do we get, do we get <laughs> to know? We need to know the time, please. Yeah. <laughs> but there will be no need to know what time is it. No, no. That is also true. That's How is that true. feeling? I'm yeah, going to be having a, breakfast at dinner yeah. time or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to be nice to just kind of do the thing that you really that you really want to do in the moment, you know, to see what your body kind of wants to do. It's like, do I want to go for a walk? Do I want to sit in the sun? Do I want to get in the freezing cold <laughs> water? And you don't have to choose which of those you have to do first because you're not going to lose the light. Up here, north of the Arctic Circle, the sun never sets in the summer. It just goes around and around in the sky in one endless circle. Yeah, if you're not used to it, then it's really weird to see the sun going sideways rather than just going up and down. So you guys, we have a extra surprise for you. Ooh, I feel ah. like I, I'm being like one and truly spoiled here. <laughs> and then so the concept is that you have a, a budget of eight. Eight shots. Eight shots for your time here. Okay. At the end of the week, you're going to present your favorite three Ooh. or the... I See love these. Have... Full cameras. <laughs> I'm a very passionate person, so when I when it comes to feelings, nothing better than literature. I have a whole library full of books uh, talking about feelings. For a few years, I took a few quite drastic lifestyle changes. I became aware of that the life I had was so very fine. Men inni meg så opplevde jeg ikke det i like stor grad og kjente meg mer og mer ensom, egentlig. Da begynte jeg å utforske ting som pusten og meditasjon, og i forlengelsen av dette så kom jo isbading inn, da, som er veldig friskende element. It's a lifestyle. Just stood with the sun shining on my face, looking at all this, almost makes me want to cry, because it's so beautiful, you know? But if you think it's breathtaking now, you just have to wait until we jump in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it really takes your breath away. <laughs> I'm Andreas, and my intention for today is to share some of my own practice that I practice every day throughout our lives. For most of us, we have work, we have obligations, we have stuff to tend to. So it's important to take control of your breath and just relax and sit within that state of relaxation. Breathe out. Breathe in. Normally we have like 23,000 uh, to 25,000 breath. And empty yourself again completely. He said that if we manage to even have just one breath, inhaling and exhaling air, feeling your body, this is going to change everything. It was a discovery, beautiful discovery. Slowly. Take a deep breath. I'm just shivering under the towel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll warm you up before you go in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So remember what we just talked about again, the intentional. This is now also a great opportunity to walk with intention. Yeah. So we walk with intention, we go straight down, we don't think, we go in. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go. Let's Hold on, on, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Breathe slowly. Yeah. Slowly. Slowly. Go. Come on, go. Amazing. Breathe, breathe. Amazing. Oh, go, go, go. Amazing. Well done. Say home is the place where you're 
Far away.